Okay, so this here, all this is a modulator. So this controls, lets the racks go in. When the, as the turbo boost comes on, piston comes out and it lets the rack go into full fuel. So the, usually on high horsepower engines, 475s, and the up sort of thing, just to control the boost. Little 453s have got different ones too, but this one was leaking boost around the piston. So, yesterday afternoon, I set up a model A's, the piston, and a machine and O-ring groove. So I put a brown Viton seal, high temperature O-ring on there. That's enough to get some crush on it. And I'm gonna clean this up in here now and give it a wipe out, but that will help it, se it makes it seal better and actually move properly. So, um, And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back together and um, get this modulator sorted out. It's going to put him together, so... Pretty simple. There's a roll pin in there that holds that on there. That can, that can move. Um, so we'll get some... This has been honed out. This had actually seized. The engine copped the spray with some salt water and it had seized. So it had been flappered out with a flapper wheel. So it probably didn't do itself any favours whoever did that. But anyway, so this is a limitation. This is a thing to a whole lot of other problems with this engine, not getting revs and all sorts of stuff. So just being really thorough with it, wanted to be right. Um, I'll just get some uh, silk, some degree. A bit of Parker O-ring lube. It'll have engine oil in there once it gets splashed and covered with stuff, but just for, for assembly. Put in there. So, it goes in there. It's a bit of a thing just with the O-ring groove. It's just got a bit of a square so I've just sort of got a, with my little There it goes. So now you can, oh, I now pulled him backwards into the groove again. There it goes. So it slides really nicely now in there. So our spring goes back on next. Get the spring in the right way, in there like that. Washer, washer goes, that goes down to locate the spring in the center. Goes down. I'll just get a pair of it's a bit fiddly with this washer in there, but it's not too bad. And that fits in the groove. And this fits in the groove. In the groove, then. It's not going in the groove right now. What about, oh, here we go. Ah, uh, the washer's popped into the groove on me here, which we don't want to happen. Oh, ah. Uh, I'm just trying to let that pop back up and just pop the... Okay, there we go. Circlet's in. Spring's got some tension, so we just pop that back. Goes into there. And that, o, that roll pin will go back onto there. Using a roll pin punch. Not a pin punch, roll pin punch, so it doesn't collapse the... Someone's already had a bit of a go at it with a normal pin punch, but anyway, that was probably when it was prepared, when it seized before I got to see it, it's still lined up, it's a long roll pin for the job it does, but
more hitting than required, but probably get a bigger hammer would be better, Adrian, but anyway. I haven't got any compressed air at the moment because I left the compressor on the job. But anyway, I'll um, certainly do a little test in a little bit and video it for you. Just showing you that put the air in there and lifts the boost. So yeah, that's 101 repair the diesel modulator. Nice haircut, Princess. Where'd you get it from? I've got that <laughs> over at uh, Cutthroat Barbering. So yeah, go and see Tanika. She does an awesome job. Just testing this now. So there we go. So a little bit there. Nice. Good movement. There's no air coming around the piston. A little bit of air in the air blower there, but other than that, beautiful. <laughs> 